was one in the last segment that I had skipped over uh, inadvertently in the personal part that I wanted to address. Uh, and it comes from uh, his tag is Mr. No Life. So he doesn't seem like the kind of person I should skip over. <laughs> But anyway, Mr. No Life wants to know what are some of your favorite science fiction novels and movies? Um, the movie part's easy. My absolute favorite film of all time and has been since the day I saw it back in 1968 in Columbus, Ohio is 2001. 2001 A Space Odyssey, uh, Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece. Uh, I've, I, I don't know how many times I've seen that film uh, over the years. Uh, I just think it's a masterwork uh, in many regards, uh, science fiction wise, cinematography wise. It's just uh, fantastic. I never get tired of seeing it. Uh, I also like, one of my favorites is uh, beyond that is Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Steven Spielberg film and uh, Contact. Uh, based on the Carl Sagan book. Um, you catch a theme here, science fiction? Yeah, <laughs> kind of into it. Although I, I think, you know, as do many people, that the Godfather movies, especially one and two, are, are two of the best films uh, ever made. In terms of uh, books, I mentioned uh, Contact from Carl Sagan, um, w w which I you know, really liked a lot. And also his, uh, I have visual aids too, his uh, Pale Blue Dot, great book to read uh there's a book by the name a guy by the name of brian d'amato d'amato in the courts of the sun it's a big book lots of pages uh but it's really good uh it deals with it's a novel uh part science fiction part um well, yeah, the time travel's involved, the Mayan culture is involved. It's really kind of a cool book, and I would uh, highly recommend it. And Stephen King's uh, 112263, which is an alternate take on the Kennedy assassination. Fascinating book. The, the TV uh, film that came out, uh, man, maybe not so much, but the, but the book was uh, amazing. I would highly recommend it. So there, Mr. No Life, we didn't forget you.